Now, the non-drive end bearing housing is being fitted. The thrust bearing collar is force fitted on the compressor rotor. The fixture used for force fitting the collar consists of two hydraulic pumps, two flexible pipes with respective fittings, and the actual fixture for pushing the collar into position. A high pressure pump and a low pressure pump are used. The high pressure one widens the inner diameter of the collar and the low pressure one pushes the collar into position. By using both pumps, the collar is fitted in the right position with respect to the rotor. Prior to releasing the pressure, which pushed the collar into position, it is recommended that it be held for about 10 minutes, as this allows the collar material to relax better. Now the thrust bearing inboard thickness ring is installed. Now the drive end bearing housing is being fitted. Throughout all the previous operations, it is necessary to take great care that the thermocouple wires fitted on the bearings are not damaged. These are the compressor's radial vibration probes that are being fitted here. They are installed outside the casing and therefore without having to disassemble any compressor components. The probes are calibrated and secured by nuts arranged in boxes fitted on the outer casing. All thermocouple and RTD wires are connected to two terminal boards at the ends of the compressor. This is the casing of the two BCL back to